How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I have number three in the Joy Toy Zombie series. This one is labeled just simply as female zombie. Uh, you know, so it does have the, the nice little artwork on the back. Once again, a lot of stuff for translation. And then let's go ahead and see if we can't go ahead and get that plastic cut so we can go ahead and get this open. There we go. So far, you know, like I mentioned in my first video, uh, I was very, very disappointed with Joy Toy back in the day when I got some of their early on figures. Oh, wow. This one comes with removable accessories. That is super cool. So she comes with replacement forearms and then like upper arms for the jacket. Or you can have her. That is super rad. Oh, look at that. Oh, by the way, little the, the bio card. Yay, bio card. Scratch them off thingy. But that is super cool that she comes with that extra those extra little bits right there. Uh, we will take a look at that here in a little bit. So she does have double ball jointed neck, but because of the way her hair, hair is sculpted, it does hinder that a little bit. Shoulder articulation is pretty decent. Mid waist swivel, no, or mid chest swivel, no waist articulation. Has uh, the hip hip articulation does look to be lacking a little bit, but that's just the way her jeans are sculpted. Does have the double joint knees, and then rocker ankles. And I do dig once again, you know, the the battle damage and everything. Oh, she does have elbows are are pretty decent on this one. And then kind of like claw-like hands, really elongated clawy figures, if you can see those there. Let's see about changing out for her sweater. I don't know how we would go about doing this. So let's maybe pop that. Pop that. So the arms are supposed to go in, I'm guessing. Oof. Okay, okay. Then we've got... Oh, I'm going to say that's left. Or right, I mean, there. And that's going to be the left. Once again, just a, a guess. I don't see them clearly marked. And then the hands are ball joints, just like on the chubby zombie. Oh, come on, friend. Oh, kind of smushed out her fingers there a little bit, trying to trying to get them in so one thing I can say about changing over this here is aesthetically she looks really really good but it does restrict like all like now she no longer has shoulder movement at all so it's only in the elbows now that you have any zombie movement you know any uh, anything like that so that that is really interesting like aesthetically i think it looks amazing i like the way that that molding fits you know kind of looks like it's draping off and falling off but yeah now you only have the aesthetics of the elbows uh, you have no shoulder articulation at all but it looks really good i dig that a lot i dig that quite a bit and then once again, you know, you can see the, the weathering and the scratches and the bites and, and everything like that. The really weird blue. Never played the video game, but... Oh, wow! She has toe articulation. I didn't notice that. So yeah, she has, she has actual toe articulation. Which neither of the other two figures, as far as I could tell, had toe articulation. You know, real quick, I, I put him back in the box already. 
So yeah, the hooded zombie does not have any toe articulation at all. And then let's take a look at the chubby. Nope, no toe, no toe articulation for the chubby either. So that's so far just in the female zombie. That is really cool. Bit much, but really kind of cool, I think. Kind of change that up there a little bit. Awesome. Well, guys, right there, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that with. Hit that like, smash that follow if you haven't already. Go ahead and give me that follow on Facebook and Instagram. And thank you for watching.